and here they come. Tanner Gray, Lane Riggs. Nice looking restart there, guys. Side lot, by lot, side up the hill. Yeah, a lot tidier than that first initial yes. start. Look at that dive into the corner on his brother. Look at Corey Heim. Well, Corey Makes it Heim. three wide at the front. Here comes Nick Sanchez, four wide, fighting for the same real estate. <laughs> no chaos at all, right, Michael? And they stay three wide. Now they're down to two, and it's Corey Heim with the advantage. Lane Riggs battling for that lead. Heim just really aggressive on the start, way down low and got the lead. Look at Tanner Gray in the 15, gave up that lead there, battling with Ross Chastain in the 45. Todd Majeski, the 98, there he is, right behind this group. Hawksworth in the one. So much goes on in these laps, just mechanical problems, Michael. We heard a lot of them in the last few years racing here, just how you have to take care of your truck because you're so aggressive. Well, you can see how hard that would be, Jamie, the way they hop the curves and all the shifting that you have to do. This is as much as these guys have ever seen on a circuit. Three wide getting in turn number 11. Four wide back there getting in oh, turn 11. And Friesen is around. Friesen oh, he saved it. Sideways. Nice. Wow. Nice save. See, Matt? See Matt There's Kraft on that bright yellow truck, three wide now. That's Ben Rose, Stephen Parsons in the middle of the 75 Spring Rates truck. That's a battle back there for 13th. So Ben Rhodes making some moves from the back to mid-pack right now. He turned 12. He likes his truck with four springs in it. <laughs> <laughs> improved, <laughs> improved the handling immensely, says Ben Rhodes. As he leads that gaggle. And that move's been up into the top 15, so Rich can change it, turn a page on his playbook now. Those playbooks are thick. They're, they're, their playbooks are thicker than Larry Mock Reynolds' playbook here, <laughs> trying to figure out what moves to make. And it all it all varies, and, and, it, and it's fluid. If you run fast as Ben is right now, maybe he goes up there and gets some stage points. Let's get an update on Connor Zillich, Amanda. Well, you're looking at on the ground right there, the sway car arm that came off of Connor Zillage's truck. They were diligently working down here to get him back on track. Brian Patty just telling him, hey, you're one lap down. Hit your marks. But they were pretty calm over the radio and taking in the moment. But great to see that seven back on track. Thanks, Amanda. Lane Riggs, the 38, off the pace. We've got trucks around. Marco Andretti got hit right there. You see... Stewart freezing, and we have a truck stopped right in the middle of the racetrack. Yeah, that's turn 20, right? The last corner prior to the start-finish line. Lane Riggs is stalled on the front straightaway. The 20 is also stalled. That's Gonzalez. He's also stalled. I think he was involved in that spin. He's got it refired now. But I think this is going to be the caution that Connor Zilich needs. As you see the action here, issues for the 38. Connor Zilich is the only truck one lap down. That means he's going to get his lap back right now. So Connor Zillich back on the lead lap here. I don't understand what happened to the 38. It didn't look like there was any contact. He just slowed. We could have, we could have broke a transmission. There, there's many mechanical things we've talked about. And we just talked about it, right? How yeah, fuel pump in. A number of things could, yeah. have, could have gone wrong. See Daniel die on the inside of Stuart Friesen. That's where the contact that sent Stuart around. Lane Riggs is still creeping up the front straightaway. If he can get that thing turned left, we might stay green. And he does. He's off the racing line. Oh, so, bummer for Lane Riggs. Hunter Zillich won't get his lap back right now. No. Still got six laps left in this stage. He's in I'd say it's a transmission or a gear issue maybe because it looks like he's got it in reverse. And it works in reverse, yes. Yeah, so that is not the big break that Zillich needs. All right, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. That's one way to do it. All right, stop it there. What's your voltage read? Sound lost power at all. Nader probably went bad or battery. 